Hey, what's up, everybody? I, I, w I was looking for some media to share with you all the big news that the um, the other officers involved in the murder of George Floyd have been arrested. They have been charged. And the original officer, Derek Chauvin, the, the charges have been increased from third degree murder to second degree murder. I figured I'd just come on and tell you all myself. You'll see it in the news and the media. It's great. It's a great step in the right direction that uh, the um, the men who murdered, um, uh, I'm sorry, the men who murdered George Floyd, uh, all of them are in jail now, are all in custody, they're all being criminally charged. It's a huge development, uh, it's a push in the right direction, but um, using the common moniker, it's above them now. It's not even about them anymore. Um, in our system, and, and, and this is why a lot of a lot of people are going to be really reticent about like, celebrating these arrests. In our system, it is more likely than not that all of these cops walk for the crimes that they've been charged with. Our, our, our laws provide special protections to police officers. Uh, and as a result, more often than not, even when police officers are, are, are charged, they're not convicted. We need to change the laws. And so we're pushing for a George Floyd, George Floyd criminal justice reform bill that takes away the special protections like qualified immunity and the use of force statutes that justify these kind of killings over and over and over again. Um, and so, yeah, it's above them now. We're taking this fight to the Senate. We're taking this fight to the U.S. Congress, to the House. Um, and we're, we, we need to change the laws to ensure conviction. Now, we've taken some steps already to ensure that these men, in this case, are convicted. Part of it was we got a, a special prosecutor. Uh, the prosecutor being... I'm sorry, I'm at the airport, guys. Prosecutor being Keith Ellis, the Attorney General uh, for all of Minnesota. He is a excellent attorney. He has worked closely with the family. He has received our private autopsy and used it as a part of the evidence. Uh, he's worked with Jay Z and other folks who, 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 who expressed interest in this case and advocated on behalf of the family. He hears the voice of the people, and so we mess with you. And we believe that he, uh, you know, of, of the spectrum of prosecutors, is one of the best prosecutors to handle this case. But he still has to operate within the framework of the law, and in the, uh, and, and you know, under the law in America, black lives um, in the hands of law enforcement are worth very little. And so we need to change the law. So yeah, celebrate! Yay! All the cops have been arrested and charged with something, uh, but we want to see them in jail. We want to see this shit stop happening. So that's what we want. Bet.